Hello everyone, this is Mad Cat Sphere. My real name is Richard Cespedes, and I'm here to talk about a little bit of spirituality again. But in terms of uh, how um, child child innocence is uh, very similar to you know um, how things are in the afterlife, and that how we must uh, retain or develop a sense of uh, um, innocence and the way that we live in this living realm. Because the way I see it is that um, the living uh, realm is a it, it is a place where you can do a, a, almost anything. You can uh, um, um, it, it's it's a place where you can uh, exercise your ability to to uh, to use your emotions and your concepts to way further this way or that way to exert. To exert it in any direction that you want, which, um, which then leads to uh, being very creative and uh, working with others and uh, um, cre uh, uh, creating a sense of bonding and, and social connection, and it's just very uh, moldable and goes goes anywhere. But um, the way I see it is that that uh, being a ch uh, the the child's innocence when a child is young. They are basically the embodiment of of um, of of heaven. They are the embodiment of how heaven is the this the simplicity, the the joy, the love, the uh, the direct uh, effect of of serenity and affection and safety. Um, they are the embodiment of non-judgment, non-judging of others and accepting of others you know and as we grow older uh, which also leads me to uh, character and personality development I think that personality and character development is is something that is innate in the body that we choose to come in when we're spirits we choose to go into a body that has certain characteristics and certain limitations and uh, has the ability to uh, to have a uh, like like uh, emotional, social limitations, physical limitations, things like that. But when it comes to um, the ugly aspects, the the ugliness of of human of of the human race, like um, narcissism, not being narcissistic, you know, um, being um, egotistic, being selfish, being greedy, um, jealousy, coveting, um, um, holding a grudge. Being angry, being passive aggressive, which is a lot of people are passive aggressive, and uh, the, those types of things are all created um, from our external world. They are created from our external uh, environment. Um, those types of things provoke the ugliness um, <clears throat> within uh, of ourselves, the the ugliness of of our uh, internal characteristics. You know, um, they are not. Um, those types of things are variables. They're more of a variable. They are not something that is uh, um, set uh, a constant, which is love. Everyone is born with a state of understanding, not non-judgment, and a state of um, um, willingness to help and love. And the variables which gives this world, <clears throat> this living world, such a vast, infinite possibility type of reality. You know, negative or positive, it's a vast, very moldable, stretchable, bendable thing, which makes it more interesting and more intriguing for us to um, interact and and to kind of uh, learn and to to fear and to hate and to worry. You know, um, but uh, the, the the thing is though is that when the, the child's innocence is still within us all. But what I'm trying to get at is that. Um, uh, external situations external social things causes um, a lot of internal um, the internal ugliness the variables those variables to come out and those the, those things that are within us are not truly who we are but just parts of us that are reacting to the situation that the situations that occur in each individual's lives um, in that um, they are not really who we are, but they're just like things that just happen and occur. They don't. Uh, the thing is, though, is that there is no obligation. There is no. There is nothing set in stone that you have to live.
to be passive aggressive. You don't have to be. That is not a characteristic. That is not a personality. Passive aggressiveness is a development because of how people have lived and how people have treated them. And it, and, and, and it is not something that is set in stone. Uh, being um, envious is not set in stone. That is not a personality trait or a characteristic. Envy and greed is not a personality characteristic. Um, childhood in innocence is something that is set in stone, but there's other things of variables. And I think that as people, we have to be, um, we have to go back. Don't be afraid. Don't hold up a guard. Don't be, don't be walking around with your guard up all the time because people live with the guard up. They're trying to block off uh, negative emotional things and, and trying to block off, uh, um, um, I'm interacting with people and, and, and I know I talked about in other videos that you should uh, limit yourself by interacting with people and not cause so much um, afterlife, you know, to have yourself have so much negative light reviews and unnecessary things that are unintentional and stuff. But but the thing is, though, is that it, in a way, it, it is okay to interact. But don't make any obligations. Don't create any issues for yourself. If, you know, um, don't judge. Help love help understand observe like a child does child innocence is all those things um if you can be like a child and if you can love without judgment then you can make friends because likewise that individual that you're making a friend with is also in the same state of mind so both of you are looking out for each other and you're not having any um um you're not having um having to try to get something from each other, something negative. You know, I'm going to try to get some money from this person or try to take advantage of him. You know, when you retain, when you retain that child's innocence, then that pretty much obliterates everything that I talked about in the video where you should not interact. That pretty much solves the problem. It gives it a solution. So like when you retain your child innocence, when you lose it, we all, we all lost it. We've all lost it. But we can also uh, retain it. We have children. You could retain it, and you could teach others, and and learn to uh, rekindle that child innocence within yourself. And 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 one flame starts up, and another flame starts, and others, and a flame keeps growing. The big old fire of love and innocent childhood innocence spreads like wildfire in the forest, but in a positive manner, you know. And and and, and as long as we live in that manner, and we tried our best, we're as long as we try our best, we are gonna go down a path that is going to going to improve us as long as we make an effort to consciously think about what we can do to improve ourselves so that we can better ourselves so that we can teach others and so that we can we can go back to a, a child innocence within ourselves just to just enjoy life you know don't you want to enjoy life i want to enjoy life i want to be happy everyone wants to be happy children are born happy they just enjoy and love life and we have to learn from children and learn from ourselves because that child's innocence is within us. We have to just dig it up and bring it out again. And when everybody does that and teaches everyone to change and to come back, come back, come back, come back, come back to the innocence of who you are, who you are deep in your heart, which is who we will, who we will be when we die, go to heaven, go to the afterlife. We're all going to go back in there. It's going to be a default thing. We're going to be in default mode. Loving, caring, child, innocence, happiness, joy. You know, we're, we're going to be in default mode, so we don't have to worry. But it, it pretty much obliterates everything that I talked about where, like, you know, don't cause no problems. Don't socialize. Don't don't get into sexual relationships. It's kind of true. Sexual relationships are a little bit more complicated than friendships because friendships, you don't own nobody nothing, and you just want to be friends. But, um, um, you know, like with a child of innocence, you know, um, each child can love and find anyone to love. They will love anybody. And if you can retain that child of innocence, then finding your first love, you it'll be more easier. Because a child loves, you know, whoever it is. And they love without judgment and they just allow that person, hey, you wanna you know, you ask them, you wanna you wanna be my girlfriend or you know, let's be a girlfriend and boyfriend. And and the first one you meet, because you're so innocent, both of you are innocent, you just fall into place and you live together forever. Because the because um, the problem is, is that men and women, they have their own, own agendas. 
being a man, they want to prove and they want to have money and they have all these other things. And women, they want to, you know, the this day and age, they want to flirt and they want to mess around and all and such. And they have their own agendas. Children don't have an agenda. People, when we grew up, we create and manifest our own issues and agendas. Children do not. When you eliminate agendas and just love and care, then you're going to find the right friends. Why? Because the people that you find are like you and of like-mindedness. They, they do not want any, they don't want to have any agenda. They don't want to take advantage of you. And likewise, you don't want to take advantage of them and you don't have no agenda against them. And love life. The first person you meet, you're gonna you're gonna make a best friend. The first person, the the first girl you meet, you're gonna fall in love, and you're gonna be together forever because you don't have no agendas, and you have no complications, no internal complications from the from both genders, and that's why, um, being an innocent child, is how we should live as people on earth. We shouldn't be afraid. We shouldn't think of it as something foolish, because that's how we're gonna be when we all pass away and go to heaven. And it's all a game and let's go down that path and teach each other to be childlike, to be child to retain that child innocence and teach each other. This is Mad Cat Sphere, Ricky Cespedes. Thank you guys for watching. God bless.